So, uh, good afternoon, all of you. I think I need some couple of minutes. These guys are speaking over there. Uh, meanwhile, I can uh, already start with something. Uh, So, uh, who of you can use uh, Windows very good? Or who of you can use the slideshow on the Windows system very good? So, I'm the either Linux guy or Mac OS guy, that's why I'm a bit struggling here. I can work without it, but I want to check uh, among all you bachelors who is capable of solving the problem right now, here. So, come on, just prove that you are bachelors and come here and try to solve it. At least those 19 people who ask in the Facebook group that they want a job after masters, they shall try. At least try. You know, the rest of them, I, I don't care. So those who were proactive and was thinking that, oh no, I need a job after my master. Those who were serious about their career, I want them to be proactive and at least try. I'm not saying that I want solutions. At least try. So, computational rock talker Akhil. So now, now, now listen to the problem. Yeah? Problem is, uh, I have this pen drive. There are around 160 pictures. I want to show them here. The system is working. What we want to do is, we want to see every picture every every second. Yeah? Please. Second. Yeah, every second. So either you manage the system here or you manage another laptop with VG. I mean I would do that. So I have this uh, set this live show timing up for one second. Perfect. <coughs> so meanwhile, engineer Akhil tries solve the problem, uh, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I am Sudhir Ramrao Sasani, a computational engineering student. Of, I was registered in 2009. I passed in 2012, uh, August, uh, I guess, or no, June maybe. Um, before I was submitting my uh, master thesis, I had a research position uh, offered by the professor who was supervising my master thesis. Okay. Meanwhile, in the year 2010 or 2011, I was um, one of the, uh, in 2011, I guess, or 10, I don't know, maybe we see in the images somewhere, uh, I was a uh, best international student of the year. Why? Because, well, I had, let's say, some good grade, but it was not just that. I was also active in, among the students and I was also in good connection with the professors. Yeah. So I was also showing them that I am proactive. I was having two to three student jobs, just not for the money, but I was so curious about to, to, uh, about everything, what I was getting from the professor. So uh, more or less, I knew uh, the professors from our field, uh, or at least the PhD students who were working with them. Yeah. So this proactivity uh, lead me to this uh, uh, prize, uh, TAAD prize. Not only that, I was, uh, so when, when you are proactive, then, then all professors help, help you. So the, then along with one more professor, I wrote a business idea competition. I mean, I took particip particip I participated in a, a business idea competition called Eden Wedbeber, which is all, also running this year and has uh, its price per line, that is a price distribution on 18th of November in the University of Platz. If you want to see the young students, uh, who are not just studying, but also creative and proactive and winning the prize and with the dream uh, to sit into the, uh, into the CEO chair just after the masters or just after the bachelor. Yeah? So if you want to get motivated and to see that, okay, what they are eating, why, why they are so um, successful. So you can just go there, attend the event and you can, 
we are stick with them and get motivated. So that's that's the positive part. I was like, um, yeah, but I was uh, I was not the winner. I was one of the ten finalists um, uh, among this competition in this competition. The point is, I was the only uh, non-German uh, um, uh, finalist there. And then the point was, <laughs> at the time, I, w I was not able to speak German very well. So I had so you know when you present a business concept, you have to give the you have to pitch the concept. You have to convince the investors. So why your concept is so good? And then that, that thing I wrote it down at the home in everything in German. And when I sit, stand, stood in front of them, then perfect. So that's that's what I want. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's the engineering problem solution, or that's the attitude I want from the engineers, or that is what is expected from. I mean, the companies are expecting such attitude. You know, you are not expected to be like you have 1.3 or 1.7. No, nobody cares. I got two jobs, I got fired in two jobs, and then nobody, none of them asked me how many grades I had. They said, okay, what you can do? They, they were even not interested what I have done. They were interested that, okay, this is our company's problem, but how can you contribute here? Okay? So, and thank you, Akhil, that, that's really good for you. And I think you will be the first one to get the job. Okay, so um, the, the question was why I'm showing this uh, 163 picture. Uh, so am I doing this first time here that I'm trying to be a motivational speaker? No. I mean, I, I always like uh, to uh, work independently and I, will, I always like to uh, help students because I was proactive and from, for, from that I, I learned a lot. And when I learned a lot, I, I try to help students. Uh, and that, that's what I already tried. So these are the pictures where I was advertising University of Rostock. Um, uh, in, in the Maharashtra, the state where I come from, the, it's the educational institute uh, which has every degree. So I was trying to motivate them to come to Germany for, for, for masters. Yeah. So there, there are, in the last year, for my business, uh, uh, business company or uh, for my business concept, I did the marketing tour around 16,000 kilometers. I traveled with a car with the with the lady who is taking this picture. I don't know whether we can see her there. But um, and my uh, driver and uh, I visited so many people. Uh, I mean, from from the poorest, poor, richest, richer, and uh, how to say, spiritual, non-spiritual, um, uh, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, every, everybody. And from that, uh, from the, the discussion with them, I, I gathered the whole experience, and that's why I feel that I can motivate you. Some, well, one of you might have to remind me that I'm speaking too much or that. I mean, I plan to speak 20 minutes, but if I speak more than, yeah, some of you, you can just start clapping and then I will know that I'm like, speaking too much. Okay? I mean, when I was preparing for the talk, uh, my problem was not what to speak, my problem was what not to speak, you know? And that's, that's because I, I, I sleep just four, four or six hours and I have those, and then I have like 10, 20 hours. 18 hours, I guess, yeah? Yeah, and then, then I'm, I'm trying to be proactive every every minute, every second. So I, I'm, uh, I'm uh, participating in some social project, I'm participating in the spiritual discussion, I'm uh, participating in the technical discussion, our business concept, of everything. So I have a lot of things to share with you. But I think we need to focus and stick to the point. So I think the introduction part is over. Uh, that why I can motivate you, I think I, 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 I suppose that I convince you. Uh, there was one suggestion from the student, one of the students that, yeah, I speak too fast, but there's a problem with the Indians. They, they, I think they think that uh, when you speak fast English, that means you can speak very, very, like, very good. Yeah, and maybe I have the same problem. So I will try to be uh, langsam or no, slow. Yeah, now, yeah, that's the one of the things. I'm trying to learn German too, and that's why I'm mixing the language sometimes. But that's okay. I guess I, you, underst you understand already this much uh, German. Um, so, <clears throat> now there are four points. I, I actually wanted to make some slides. But then I'll just say, yeah, no. Let's not say bad words about university. But the point is, um, I will go with the, with the old style. So, I want to uh, speak about the uh, four points. Like, the aim is, then, let's say, well, let's focus, focus on the topic of um, today. It's, it, it is um, uh, what like how you can master your masters, right? So I, I jotted down four points. Uh, 
And then uh, I said to the Professor Pandrinan that, okay, I want to, I want to speak with the students. Why? Because, yeah, I saw the success and I saw the failure part of my life too, which I haven't shared yet with you. But if anybody of you interested, uh, I can do this uh, after, after the question and answer session. You say, oh, okay, yeah, the nice part you told us, tell us the negative part and I can share with you, yeah? That's not the problem. So I, I have the four points uh, for, uh, that you, I want you to focus. First of all is German proficiency. Writing on the blackboard after. So I am. Yeah, well, I finished my master's. I was two years research student, too, but I, I studied my um, school in Marathi, like my mother tongue. So I might make some spelling mistake. So be, please be kind enough to raise hand and point them out, yeah? So the first point is German proficiency. Uh, so most of you feel relaxed when you apply for the, for the course here that I uh, would like to learn the course in English because that's the easy way out. That's how our mind tricks uh, with us. That it always suggests the comfort, comfortable thing. Well, you got the admission, let's not speak about that. But then the question is why? Do, we need, do I need German proficiency? So what do you think? Do we need? Do you guys need German? So how many of you think that you need German to get settled in Germany? Raise, raise hand. Wow. Okay. 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 So I'm, I'm happy to see that most of you are already convinced. So I'm, I might not have to explain that why you need it. But yes, uh, there are companies who speak um, English. But you know, I'm, I'm not speaking about getting jobs and entering jobs. I'm speaking about after 10 years, when you are already a technical person and having the 10 years experience, and then it's your step to go to the managerial position where every discussion, every decision, and uh, core <coughs> discussions happen in German. And that's like it. I mean, you are in Germany, and that's how it happens. And the point is, if you want to be, you know, engineer forever, then you don't need German. But if you are thinking about yourself, uh, let's say at some managerial position or CEO after 10 years, then you have to, you have to speak German. And you know, German is not like this, that you, you, uh, you have, like you take a film and you now start speaking German. So it's like a continuous process. So you have to start from now and you have to, um, um, and then after 10 years, I think you will be able to negotiate business level discussions in German. And that's the, that's the, that's the aim. And that's why I think that you need to learn German. Well, okay. So we all are convinced that we need to learn German. So how do we do that, you know? So one day, I think most of you are doing the courses, yeah? Everybody of you, so who is doing courses in the university? Raise your hands. Okay, who is doing courses in the Pokokshula? Pokokshula in the Kabut Sangha. Okay, so here again, I'm the person who tried the courses in the university and also in the Pokokshula, which is more intensive. So we're, we're, was I able to speak German after those courses? So I, I, I have finished B2.2, yeah? But after B2.2 also, I was not able to speak fluent German. And when I went back after one or two years to India, and then I said, oh, okay, well, I'm on the flight, I was thinking. So I was in a country where everybody speaks German, and then even after one or two years of stay, I cannot speak German, shame on me. And then, then I said, okay, but I, I tried everything. I did the courses. Yeah, I did the courses, I, I even passed the courses, I was doing homework, but why am I not able to speak the German? The point was, when you are, you are young, you are, you are ashamed of doing mistakes. And when you speak language, you, you are ashamed uh, of, like, okay, if I do some mistakes, I think my, my English already has now, I, I already might have committed thousands of mistakes while speaking English. But I'm so confident because I'm sure, the speak, the, I mean, the, the main aim is to communicate, yeah? If I'm communicating my point to you, then the language is just their semantics, and I don't care about it, yeah? Uh, so the point is, um, then I said, okay, now how, how can I learn German? And then I said, I have to practice my German. Then what are the opportunity to practice, uh, force myself to, to speak German? Unfortunately, I was not a party guy <coughs> to go to the parties uh, or to the clubs and start speaking with the girls, where I cannot even speak with the girls at that time. Uh, so what I tried was um, uh, when I go to supermarket, 
and on the cash counter, I tried to speak with them uh, in German, yeah, intentionally asking something, some, some, which I used to practice in my mind. Okay, now this is the question I'm going to ask. Like, we feel cost at us or or Shona's open and the, I practiced it intentionally. The second opportunity is uh, I, I used to find like old people and then intentionally ask them some address, you know. And so you have to, uh, the good thing when you speak with the old people is you have to just ask one question and then you have to listen for 10 minutes. And that's how you practice your third first thing, you know. Uh, that's how you practice the, the, the German to, to learn German. And the, that's my personal experience that the, the German old people here, they are kind, kind of einsam. So who, who, who of you know this word, einsam? So they, they feel kind of alone, and when, when there is some foreigner trying to speak with them, they feel really happy, you know, they, they, they enjoy it. So you are, you are not just learning German secretly, but you are also making them happy. So that's like a two-way benefit or win-win situation. So that's how I learned German. So it started with the old people, and now I end up in the, um, speaking with the young German girl, you know. And yeah, so maybe if that's the motivation for some of you, maybe that also can work for you, yeah. Um, so that's how I improve my German. The next point is, a anybody has some doubt or question or, uh, yeah, any, you have to say anything like, you know, comments, critics or suggestions. No. So are you listening to me? Next point I want to 
to speak with you about is freedom of um, uh, German education system. That, that, that freedom. What is that freedom? You know. Um, so most of us are from developing countries, and most of us are from India. And then I know that in India, it, the attendance is very much like you know, a professor checks how many lectures you attend, and if you are not attending the lecture, then you are not allowed to um, how to say a, a write exam. So you are forced to attend the lecture, but you. Thanks to Germany or German education system, you are not forced to attend the lectures here, you know, and that's where the freedom comes into the picture. But unfortunately, this is a two-edged sword. You know, you can make use of it both way, either to your how to say, uh, to your benefit or to to your harm. Yeah, and you can harm yourself like hell. Uh, I saw a lot of students who were here doing some extra work, earning money, and going back to India after two years or three years, you know? But, I mean, if the aim was that, that I do, a, a, how to say, I come to Germany in a student visa and earn money by doing, I don't know, the, 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 the how to say, it? not low-grade work, but, but the non-technical work, let's put it this way, and then go back to India after two years, then well, I, I, I'm not going to say anything to those. But those who are confused that, okay, how can I support my, uh, uh, how to say, living in Germany, uh, still being an engineer, for them I would like to speak about uh, the freedom here. So that's the kind of abuse of the freedom that you, you don't attend the lecture and you, you think that you are earning a lot of money and then you, in the end you are not engineer. Well, that's again the, how to say, the flexibility of German education system that without attending a single lecture, you can pass the exam because professor doesn't care uh, about uh, the um, uh, exam, I mean, uh, doesn't care uh, about, like, I, I, I know that in India it's very serious, you know, the exams are too tough. And professor here, let me put it, let's say, positive way, they don't want you to fail, you know. So the, the exams, half of the exam will be free and the, uh, uh, easy, and then the last problem will be the really critically thinking problem, you know. And then with, with the half of the exam, you can pass the exam. And you can pass the exam with the three marks or I don't know, the critical, or just satisfactory performance. And then in the end, you will be masters like in the paper, but you will not be able to get job. That I can tell you for sure. With that degree, nobody gives you job because it's not about the marks. You know, yeah, I, I can. If you come to me six months before and say that I have four in the masters, and I say, okay, you now from today onwards you sleep uh, just six hours, and the rest of the time you give it to me. Then I can, um, in six months, I guarantee you that you work with me and you get a job, you know, after six months. So that can be uh, like still uh, uh, compensated. But then you have to pay the price, you know, you have to sleep for six hours and the rest of the thing for four hours and then study, study, study or do some project for, let's say, 10, 12 hours. So you have to live in the project. So that's the uh, thing. Now, the, I think I'm the example where I use the freedom in a positive way. Yeah? So I then. I'm the example to use freedom in negative way. Well, here where I explain my, my uh, how to say, how I ruin my uh, research career here at the University of Rockham. So, yeah. Can you see me? Food with the top is open. Ah, she's German. Who was it? So can you see this uh, waveform? Yeah. So can somebody tell me what type of waveform is this? I'm sorry, I'm just sign wave. Oh, okay, that's great. So everybody is awake. That's good to know. Okay. Uh, so now you know uh, you you uh, you got uh, motivated by my talk and you started studying day and night. And what happens? What do you think? What will happen? <coughs> so you are here now. You started your semester. You started studying day and night. And what will happen? Okay, so I think you are you are either uh, tricking me or you are not willing to answer. Let, let me make it fast forward. So you you study hard and then maybe sometime you fail in the exam. Then you again you take effort. You study hard and then in the end you are like yes, say Sudhir in 2011 win the prize. You are happy, yeah. You are happy and then. 
Uh, you are satisfied about your performance. Uh, that's what happened with me. Uh, and then, then what happens? Then you are relaxed, you know? Like, yes, I, I got the success. I, I got the 2.7 uh, and then I, yeah, I don't need to study or I'm relaxed. I am overconfident about myself. And the moment you do that, you start losing it, you know? And you fall here. Definitely fall here. When you achieve success, you need to continue. Yeah, you need to continue effort to, to get the another success here, you know? The life is always like that. You, you don't have the continuous success, no. You, uh, you do the effort, you have success, then you have to again do the effort, I mean, next success is here. So then it's your job to decide, excuse me, so what is the, so important? Huh? Yeah, I mean, if you want to live, live, with, but don't disturb, the, don't disturb it. Okay, so the point is, uh, so the, the one way is, or the traditional way is like what I tried, which is not easy and which is very hurting, that you, you, uh, you get relaxed and then you fall here, you know, and you fall here so bad that you, you cannot even wake up or you cannot even think about anything, you lose your confidence and you say, oh no, I'm, I'm no, um, let's say, a vulgar word, I'm a piece of shit, I cannot do anything. And then, but, but, you know, do you want like this? Yeah? Do, you, do you want to be like this? Do you, to, do, do you want to fall here? Uh, no, of course no, yeah? But what, what you do then? So what you do is you build a bridge, you know, here, somewhere. So, but what is this bridge? Bridge is, uh, first, experience. And the second is, Ah, connections. You know? You build the bridge so that you don't fall here again. You build the bridge that with the experience. When you, you, you do this thing, you have already experience. So you already started building the bridge. Yeah? So for example, just, just simulate, uh, simulate my example or your example that in the two years, you are, you are proactive enough, you, you do a lot of projects with the professor, you know? Not, not, not to just to get marks, but to just learn. You do like extra projects. There are professors who have a lot of uh, extra projects waiting. For example, I can tell you the situation where they are working with a very uh, state-of-the-art algorithm and they have results. But they want to compare those, that results with the another available algorithm, which is, let's say, not, not so important, but, uh, but uh, if somebody does it, they want it. And that's where they are, uh, hire students. Yeah? But then you can be proactive and say that, okay, ma'am or sir, I don't want uh, money, but I want this experience. Yeah, that's how you gain the experience. And, and then when you are in contact with professors or then you are taking part, participating in this business competition or everything, then you are also good network, you know. So I was here, I was not able to apply, like six or eight months I spent here, you know. After uh, two years, I, I was a research student and I, I, was, I failed to get my third year scholarship. You know, just because I was not performing well, I was here, I was too relaxed, yeah. But then, after, after spending two, three months, I started realizing, okay, am I, am I really that dumb? No, then I started um, learning online courses and testing my brain again, whether it is still um, understands mathematics. So I got up, and then I realized, hey, I have good business connections. And then, when I realized this, in, after eight of the day, I had two opportunities, two job opportunity here in Rostov. I didn't even apply them, you know. I, I just wrote them an email that, okay, I'm, uh, until now I was a research student and your website says that you need a good people, I am that good person. Do you want me? And then they immediately sent me the mail, yeah? Uh, yeah, please, tell us. Go, tell us your story. And then I exactly told them the story, what happened? Why am I PhD developed? Because of course they are going to ask. But then you have to be, uh, how to say, uh, bold enough to accept that you did mistake. And then, but, but the, <laughs> the good thing is, you, you might think that it, what, what I'm telling is here, but what I tell you is when I was failed and now I'm back, that I learned more in my failure. But that doesn't mean you should do that. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm trying to tell you that no, don't, don't do this. Do this. Yeah? Try to, um, how to say, gain experience and then get in the connection. And getting in the connection part is where the group computational Rostockers comes in. There are 200 and 24, I guess, members now who are already passed out and then having a successful career in the industry. Some of them will, uh, I will run the videos of some of them. Um, and then you can directly achieve the, the be here and then you have to always so 
taking effort is the continuous process. It never stops if you want to be successful in your life. So then you can continue your effort, then you have the, again the success spike. Yeah, maybe the, uh, how to say, the promotion, or maybe having your own company, or whatnot. Yeah. So that, that's the point I wanted to say about using the freedom. So how I use the freedom? Freedom, so for example, today is a Friday evening, for example, and then my friends told, uh, asked me that, okay, let's go to the party. Yeah. Then Sobrin says, ah, yeah, the party nice, but what I want is uh, I want to work on this project. Yeah. And if I finish this, then I can discuss with the professor on Monday. Now, this is where the freedom of choice uh, Sobrin uses because he knows that what he is doing is using breathing and freeze. And then Sobrin says, no, I'm sorry, I can come. I know I can come, I can enjoy and uh, have fun. But no, that's not what I want. I want to contribute my, I mean, I choose, I will use my freedom to choose uh, to build this place. Yeah? And that's what the freedom of choice is about, or German education system. The freedom of German education system. That's and I would, I would like you to use uh, it wisely. Yeah? And the next point was, yeah, I think now, I think now you realize that next point, let me write it. Be very serious about your journey.
So you are um, programming the machine to learn from the real world. So that's what happens with us, that when, when we, we are born, uh, our eyes are our input, uh, the ears are input, and that's what we take as input and interpret the world. So what is yellow for me may not be yellow for Chira. Yeah, Chira, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I cannot explain him what is yellow, yeah? So, but he says yellow, I say yellow, that's why it's yellow. But it's just, just the interpretation, and that's what the brain is doing, and that's what this machine learning we wanted to do. Like, you know, you, you program the machine, so that's like you are being God, you know? You are your program, and that, that, that very thought uh, stuck in my mind, and the whole dream, our whole plan of my life got changed. And I got dragged into the research. You know, and that's why, um, and that, that's how I found uh, my interest. And when I find my interest, then I work day and night, without sleep, and I do projects, and when I do projects, I get a uh, lot experience, you know, how to do the project, uh, how to manage your time, uh, when there is a problem, how to solve the problem. Uh, and then there, you, I, and the professor was so proactive, you know, I, I used to write him in the 12 in the night, that way oh, yeah, I have this problem in the code, and in three minutes he used to reply me. So yeah, he, he was a young professor, and that also motivated me, you know, when you are doing efforts, and when somebody is recognizing it, uh, it, it feels really good, and then you, you work even more. And maybe that's how we uh, got connected, and that's how why he believed me that I can do PhD. Uh, and and the point is um, that brings uh, me to to the question that how can you get the job? You know, when you find your interest, and after finding your interest, when you work hard, uh, when you do multiple projects, then you have experience, and then then you can choose company and go to the companies and say, okay, these are my three projects. The output is on YouTube. Yeah, let's say you are a simulation engineer. And then you say, okay, output is on YouTube, which is, this is the link, and ask me anything, you know. I, I mean, if you ask for my master's degree and the, and the marks and everything, here are those papers, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in what I can give to you, you know, what I can deliver you. That's, that's what I, that's, that is what I work, and here are the results, and you can ask me anything. So with this confidence, if you go to the company, I'm damn sure that company will take you. And if that company is not taking you, then be sure that that company is not for you. Okay? So it's not about you, then it's fault at the company side. Okay? Uh, so I think I answered your question that how you can get the job. So there are there are two types of people, I would say. I mean, this what I'm saying is the bold move in the career. You know, there are the people who say, no, I'm going to, uh, to say, muzzle the things and get 1.1 or 1.3 in the master thesis in the every subject. And then the company thinks that I'm interesting, and then they go in a company apply to the, let's say, every day 100 companies and then they get a uh, job in some, some multinational and then they get stuck there, they are not engineer, I would say them, they are technical club, yeah? They are technical club, they are happy, you know, I, I, I don't care, they, they are happy, they, they get 2,000 euro or 3,000 euro, what is the basic payment, um, and I'm not, so whatever formula I'm giving to you for job is not for those people or people with those mindset. I, I'm giving you formula for the job, their life, you know, uh, it's not about money. It's about what I contributed to the to the world. When when at the age of 80, when you um, uh, 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 when you are with your uh, grandchildren, then you should be able to tell them stories. You know, like okay, that's what I did with my life, and not just yeah, I was going to the office and early in the morning, nine o'clock, and the boss was shouting at me, and then I used to come back at five. That's so interesting, and everybody is living that life. Yeah. But what I want you, I mean, and that's why this computational Rostocker group I founded, that I want you to build your own career, you know. And when you build, and this is the ideal time, you know, when you are having education, you have a lot of free time, um, you have a lot of money, let's say not a lot of money, but sufficient money as a saving from your parents or from the bank, and then you can use that time to develop your skills with which you can get job by your choice and not by the company choice. So you select the companies, 10 companies, you select the companies, okay, now this is the company I want to get the job, you just knock the door and, uh, and present your projects and they will take uh, you. And I can show you, or I know some people who already did this, uh, and maybe there was, uh, I mean, I know this story, um, there was a very good research student in Professor Pandrenan's group, uh, um, I guess Carsten was his name, and he was uh, um, uh, uh, asked to join Bosch, you know, by, by the company. That's what I heard, I, I'm not sure. But he was a very good uh, researcher. And that's what I would like to everybody, uh, from everybody of you. You know, is it, that people sometimes think, they, they are so narrow-minded, they think, no, he's intelligent. No, it's not about intelligence. 
It's about being uh, doing, I mean, ability or th thought of doing hard work, uh, being persistent, and then you know, and then not giving up. You know, yeah, sometimes it can happen that you decide to wake up at five o'clock and you wake up at seven o'clock. But don't be hard to yourself. Then they say, okay, today I like step more, but then I will study more. You know, late night, and then uh, this is the way you can train your body uh, to perform. So if it is your daily habit to wake up early and study and perform, uh, then you are bound to get successful. And successful in the sense that you are bound to get satisfied and happy about whatever you are doing. Success, success, successful is not in the sense that how much money you are earning. As of now, I am not earning a single uh, euro. But you know, if I die now, I am so satisfied. I, I, I don't care. You know, that I will be so happy that oh, I died now because I did a lot of things. I have a lot of experience. I am satisfied and happy. So that's what I am speaking about. Uh, and that's why, uh, that's how you find your interest and that's why your interest is important. I mean, that's my personal philosophy, that money is not important, what important is yeah, how happy you are in the, in the, in the end. I, I know the businessman, I, I mean, because of the business thing, I am in contact with a lot of people with a lot of money, and they need to take the sleeping pills uh, in the night. <coughs> what is the use of that money if you need to take sleeping pills? Yeah. So I don't need money. Then, I mean, I already tried this, you know, I, I, I thought, okay, I need to be Albert Einstein. You know, when my master thesis project was so interesting that I could have the unit uh, of my name, like hers, like words, and I, I, that's what I dreamed, like I wanted to have the unit of Sahani. Yeah, but it's not easy. Uh, and then, I mean, for that you need to be a uh, researcher like, let's say, Professor Kumar. And day and night you have to perform, 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 and you, 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 are, you don't care whether you get recognized or not. You just perform, you know irrespective of recognition, and that was not easy for me. I'm the guy who likes to be in the limelight, who likes to get appreciated, and when it is not happening, then I'm not able to perform. Yeah, maybe that's my personality problem, but in research, you are sitting in the table, on the table, day and night, nobody cares, and the only thing that, you know, this, this success peak happens once in a year, when you publish paper in a, in a conference. That's happened, and, that, and that's only one day, you know, or four days you go somewhere, and then yes, yes that's the success. And after four days, then you have to come back and again start studying. For that, you need really, really high motivation. If you think that you are the guy who can motivate yourself so hard, yeah, then I would say the research career is the career to have. Because then you are contributing to the world. I mean, that, then you are having something which, what is, which has been never done. So if you think like that, then you can be a researcher also. Um, so yeah, that's why I want you to do your interest. And Yes. So that's the end of my talk. I would say I wanted to speak this four point with you, and now I wanted to um, uh, uh, this event I organized from the computational rostockers, and I do not want it to be a single guy who motivates you. So there are other. Uh, I try to contact every C uh, student and to be, ask them to record the videos. Idea was that they come live on hangout here and speak with me. Uh, speak with me, uh, or speak with us, then you ask them questions and speak with us. But the problem was, this, this is the working hour, so they said, no, Sudhir, it is not possible. And I said, okay, uh, it would be nice if you record the video, 90 second uh, video, and uh, share it with us. And now, I, I found three such guys, and uh, I would like to play that video for you now. Let's see, I don't know whether the uh, audio is working. Here it is. Yeah, maybe let's try this.
Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, excuse me, I would like to uh, introduce uh, Tobias Gebhardt. Uh, he is, um, uh, let's say, kind of CEO of a one company, uh, and uh, he would like to speak with you. You know, when I, I, um, I wanted to uh, give this motivational talk, I don't, I don't wanna, do not wanted it to be end, you know, I wanted it to be start. So when I say that be proactive and find your interest, and when you come with me, to me with the project, then I would like to uh, you to work in, in company or for some company. And here is your opportunity. May, Tobias, maybe you would like to add something. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tobias. Thanks a lot that you invited me today in the early morning. <laughs> and you didn't really say what I should say to, to you here. But anyway, I will just share some thoughts and some words, I would say. I just have a question. All of you are studying computation engineering, or are you just at the start of that study? Is that right? Or are you studying something different? Okay, perfect. So, yeah, I would like to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe you ask you now why I say congratulations, because I would say that we are living in a really exciting time. So there are so many opportunities, especially in the Internet. So web development, software development, I mean, it's so easy nowadays to start a business. The market and the market barriers to enter a new market, they are so low. And it's so easy just with this small device, like a laptop, you can start own things and you can also bring it to other markets, to other countries. And that is a really interesting thing. And yeah, as Tobias said, I'm Tobias. I'm from a startup here in Rostock and we are growing. Um, yeah, and we are always looking also for... We are always also looking for ambitious and motivated people. And um, yeah, I would say, for that place here also, we have quite exciting projects. For example, um, Axel, Axel Springer, I don't know if you know that. It's a big digital media um, publishing house. It's a leading publishing house in Europe. And we have also uh, another customer, Deutsche Bahn. I guess you also know that. And, and that shows we are a small company. And yeah, a few years, five, ten years ago, <laughs> there, was a, there was a cliche that Big companies always buy software from other big companies. But that time is changing. Nowadays, it's also possible as a small company, if you're ambitious and motivated, um, and also fast in the work and flexible, you can also acquire such big companies. And that's what we have done. And at the moment, we have more interesting projects uh, than we can handle. So, and that's the reason yeah, why we're looking for people um, that yeah, either they are in the beginning of the studies and they want to do some practical work besides that, or they are, um, they are already more advanced in the studies or maybe graduated from university. And yeah, I would say that's a really important thing. I'm not sure what you already told, but mm -hmm. some of your sentences um, I'm aware of. So yeah, we, because that's from our discussion, Tobias. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. So, and yeah, I mean, um, you're just in the beginning, and I would say, or I already uh, said congratulations, and that's really what I mean. Um, but now, it's really up to you. So everybody can start to, to study here in Germany, but it's always how you take that opportunity, what you make out of that chance. And it's really important that you not just go to university every day and from nine to five and make your thing. I mean, if you have some, some goals and you want to achieve something, Try have a look to the left and to the right, and it's not good if you have that tunnel view. Just do your basic stuff. So, I mean, after your graduation, people will ask you what you also said for the story. So, what kind of person are you? What can you tell from the last years? What have you done? What makes you special? And if you just say, well, in the third semester I went to that course, in the fourth to that, and in the fifth to that, then you're just one of now here, I don't know how many people are here, then you're just one number from that whole. I studied uh, economics, business administration, and my professor said in the very early uh, lecture, when you graduated, you are one from 14,000 every year that graduates from university. And you can choose one number from one to 14,000. I mean, that's not really special, but that's uh, the situation. Of course, there are some opportunities and Especially in Germany, we are facing that um, skilled worker shortage, but in the end, it's always 
up to you and what can you contribute to the uh, to the company. And you should be aware of that. And yeah, I just would like to invite you. Um, I have some business cards. If you're looking for any projects uh, related to software development, to web development, we have <coughs> interesting um, projects with big companies on the one side, as I said, but also with other companies where we are developing the software. For example, we are working for a startup in Berlin. They try to revolutionize uh, all the accounting software. And they are also backed by a big investor called Rocket Internet. I don't know if you know that. Guys, they are um, founded, for example, in Zalando. And also, I think in India it's called Jabon. Yeah. You know that? You know that? Have you heard about it? That's, uh, they are also behind that. So they are uh, building companies all over the world. And we are really close connected to that startup company. So what I want to say, we are here in a smaller city compared to other cities in Germany. But that doesn't really matter. Yeah? It doesn't matter where you just uh, write some code or start a project. You can scale it all over Germany, all over the world. And that's what we have already shown with some customers. And yeah, if you want to join our ride or journey, yeah, you're welcome. So I have some cards here. And here you have my contact. Yeah. If you want to work for us, ePatrol, you're welcome. Or just yeah, share what you want to do. And can have a talk about it. Thank you, thank you, Tobias. Uh, so, the network or connection part is where Tobias comes in picture. When, uh, we have this Entrepreneurs Club Rostock, and every uh, first Monday, Tobias? Uh, first Thursday. Yeah. yeah, every first Thursday, we uh, introduce uh, 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 the young startup uh, in the Rostock, you know, and then the one guy who has the business concept comes there and explains his story in German. So, that's how I uh, got to know Tobias, we worked on some projects together, some of them worked, some of them didn't work, but uh, it was not about the project, it was I got to know a very good person, yeah? So that's the connection part I'm speaking about. Okay, now I would like to play this video where the other uh, C students are uh, sharing their uh, experiences or suggesting you how to how to them. Hey everyone, I uh, hope that uh, Sudhir had introduced me. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm Suman, uh, I'm in the University at Rostock. Me putting aside the reasons uh, for uh, Sudhir asking me to share a video with my opinion or suggestion, uh, I want to congratulate you all for uh, getting into one of the oldest universities. I know you guys are self-aware, but still I would proceed and uh, give some uh, free advice. Uh, I've categorized uh, uh, into three groups, uh, students in first uh, or second semester, students writing the master thesis and uh, students who have graduated. You know, for the students uh, in their first semester, I would ask them to be close to the reality and uh, curb their broad-mindedness and uh, plan and choose uh, uh, their course of study. Uh, for students uh, writing their master th thesis, I ask them to uh, take this thing seriously and work hard. There will be road, uh, roadblocks and uh, dead ends, but still keep on working uh, and uh, Achieve uh, for the achieve the reason uh, you, you are in Rostock. For uh, students uh, who have graduated, uh, I ask them to be uh, patient. Uh, spend time improving your uh, language and uh, presentation skills. Uh, apart from this, uh, um, I would like to give some uh, general uh, suggestion. Um, and stop comparing uh, with uh, others because you know the initial uh, intermediate and final conditions. Uh, would be different for every person and uh, every situation. Uh, uh, try to be expressive. Uh, just uh, keep fear aside and uh, speak German. All the best. Uh, enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you. Bye bye. My name is Vetri. I come from Spain. I was studying competition in the game from 2009 until 2011. When I finished my master, it was quite difficult to find a job, but I didn't work, uh, give up and then I found a job at the Hochschule Wiesmann. This project at the Hochschule Wiesmann didn't work out and after five months I had to find another job. I found a job in Bavaria for a company and this job was quite interesting because I, I was using some tools which I was using in, in master too. Uh, but after two years, I wanted to do another thing not related to server tests and not related to computational engineering. And at the 
again, I found a company who want to hire me. Uh, and this company, uh, they are working with uh, cars. I am doing some project management uh, with different um, control units in the car. So, what I think the starting competition of engineering was worth it in my life. Good evening, congratulations, Rostovas. Feeling nice to meet you virtually and share with you my thoughts. I am Pawan Dadania, ex C student. I was not to sincere student like all of you, but I had dream of becoming successful businessman and wanted to have all possible experiences I could get when I was staying there. I traveled with my friends to lots of cities and did multiple road trips too. These experiences taught me lot which I am using here at my own software company and home automation form of startup. Well, does that mean I was spoiled brat? And answer is no. When it came to subject of my interest, I was damn sincere. I am the one who was about to get kicked out of university because I failed in PD. But then, with focused efforts and listening to seniors' valuable advice, I was not only able to pass the subject, but I also scored two in it. I was uh, I was always interested in doing projects which were directly useful to humanity. I have worked with Sudhir on one project called Backview Camera, which was basically digitally controlled webcam to provide backview of chair on the screen of LS patient. I felt proud when Oliver, LS patient in Bali, could use our project to see the person with whom he is speaking while I guess typing. So, my message to you is be open, open to experience almost everything and anything. Travel as much as you can and study subject of your interest with uh, most sincerity and focus. Enjoy your stay and yes, if in future you come back to India with great experience and are willing to work in young startup, you are always welcome. Thanks to all. Goodbye. When I told you that uh, if you are not good at the studies and if you want to uh, uh, still um, uh, excel, then he was the student who come to me or I saw him that he is, if uh, somebody guides him, then he can sincerely do uh, studies and can pass. So when he, uh, I was taking efforts or I was, um, so the, in the, the talk he says the seniors, but I sp spoke with him and I said, okay, um, uh, if you come, you are going to fail in PD and he was so careless because He's uh, from the businessman family and there uh, he, he was going to be businessman anyway, you know. And then um, for him degree was not that important, so experience is very important. But I told him that you already invested time and I can help you to pass this subject, but you have to uh, study on my terms. Yeah? And, and he was a guy who said, okay, Sudhir, and he used to come early in the morning to me and then I used to give him tasks and then he used to solve them and when he used to be lazy, then I used to shout at him. But here is the success story. He got two, you know. So the other guys from his courses, they were, the, they were like 3 or 3.3, those who were smart. And the, everybody got surprised when they saw his marks too. So the, the, my, my point is, if, if you think, if you decide, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Everybody was, he was having sports car and everybody was thinking that he is not uh, studious and he is not interested in study. But I proved that if you take the efforts or uh, if you are in the, how to say, good or positive energy together, or motivated, uh, in the group of motivated people, you can perform. Yeah, that's the success story. Now, I would like to, this is a story of the, how to say, XC student, uh, X me and the company people. I would like to uh, invite Professor Kumar, uh, Dr. Kumar here, and to share uh, uh, with us the, his perspective in short words, that what a professor wants from the students when they, they, uh, they, they want the student to be proactive, what they really expect. So, yeah, please. Okay. Thanks, Sudhir. Okay, I won't take much time of you. The only thing I would like to share with you, actually, he motivated you, I hope that, you know, very best possible manner to study hard, to get a job, to be successful. But, the one question you should always ask yourself, what exactly is the aim of your life? To be successful in career is all the time he is talking about. What does that mean? 
to be successful in career does not mean to be happy. So, he said that at the end of the day, you need to be happy. And from where does this happiness come? That's the question you should ask. Okay. In my perspective, there are two aims of life. First, I would explain, and the second, I won't explain. That I let you change. The first is to serve the human beings. To serve the humanity is one of the two aims of being life. And what would be the second aim that I want to explain here, that I let you to decide for yourself. Okay, and of course, the career is very much important. But when we talk about success, successful career does not imply happiness. This you have to take in always take into mind. And then from where the success comes? Even if okay, we talk about the success, from where does the success come? What is the source of success? Of course, hard work, dedication, motivation, but all these terms, where are they coming from? They they come from from confidence from your strength, from your inner strength. And this inner strength comes from your character. So, building your character is most important at this age. I'm already 38 year old or 37 year old, okay? So being 